Hello everybody, it is Yellowfin and we are back for another Sarasota Cars and Coffee vlog. I missed last month's one because I was taking a freaking ACT, but we're back for this one. We are not missing it. We got the CX-30 right here and of course we're not parked over there yet. I got rims and a side skirt hopefully coming soon though. Only thing with the side skirts is I got to move my underglow over a little bit so that'll just be a much more annoying install to get the side skirts on there. But yeah, I got, I just need money. That's the thing. I need a crap ton of money for all these mods I want to get because I got some really nice rims I'm looking at for it. We got some Lambos and some McLarens pulling up. Don't know if you can really see them through the bushes, but we'll get over there shortly and start checking out the show. And here we are back over. Holy crap, the camera's shaking. But we are back over in the cars and coffee area after grabbing a bev. So let's get to touring it ain't as full as last time but it's also still still pretty early it might always fill up and i wasn't really here last month either so i don't know maybe it's just not as many people now but i see it corvette gtos and there's something over here that catches my eye we'll go over take a quick look got a nice mazda cx8 i believe as well pretty tough right there in the Mazda Gray. Oh, and slammed Volkswagen Golf. But let's go over there and check that one out. Pretty solid. Honestly, can't even tell if it's an RX-7 or a 180SX. One of the two. <laughs> Not too great with JDM cars, but it's pretty tough looking. Big old turb ski in it as well. I got a nice Miata and a Corvette over there. Let's see it over here. Nice Mazda 3. That's pretty tough. Gold rims on it. Got the tow hook. Very sweet. That is nice. See, I gotta slam my CX-30, get it down to like Mazda 3 height. It'll honestly look like a Mazda 3 pretty much when you drop it down like that. Or it'll just look like a Mazda wagon, kinda. But see, that is really nice. So that's honestly kind of what I want my Mazda to look like. Toyota Century 2, or maybe it's a Crown. One of the two, JDM spec. Got some GTOs, and then a lot of BMWs, and I believe an E55 AMG. If so, that is really nice. V8 compressor, yeah, it should be an E55. Let's take a look around back. Yep, E55. Very nice car. And the Chevy SSR <laughs> in the handicap spot. Got a nice 944 Turbo as well next to a pretty clean spec Audi R8 over here. White with the chrome rims. It's honestly not too bad. I do like those rims too on it. And I got a nice little Porsche. Man, I can just not remember my cars today. Porsche something or other, 911 of some sort. One of the generations. Got yeah, slammed GMC. Well, not really slammed, but pretty lowered. That is nice too. 90s, I believe. That's pretty tough. Got the Scion FRSs, Toyotas as well, GT 86s. Very nice. And a GR86. So that one's pretty cool. And of course, you gotta have the Geek Squad Prius and the Geek Squad van. This is pretty sick. Kia Soul on the rims. Look at those. That is fire. W Kia Soul. We're right over here by the band right now, so I gotta stick my mouth right on the camera, but we got a very interesting wrap. Pretty sick, honestly, on the McLaren GT, I believe. Nice wing on it as well. But that's pretty tough. I said that about some other car before, too. But that wrap is pretty nice on it. Very unique. White wheels as well, which is also always looks good. I got the C8 Corvette on the purple five spoke circle rims. I don't know even what you'd call them, but interesting choice. Purple and blue combo. Got the little pinstripe or whatever type of decal thing on the side as well. We got some nice WRXs. Lamborghini Urus over there. Oh, and a classic Ford Mustang. That's pretty nice. Camaro with a fat splitter. 
And another pretty cleanly wrapped Porsche over here. Lambo Huracan Evo. Oh, that's nice. In the blue. And then 12 seat next to the Corvette Grand Sport. Honestly, I'd take the Grand Sport out of the three. But that's just because I like American cars. But that Grand Sport's real nice. Then we got also Shelby over there. Then over here, slammed to the floor, Lexus F Sport. IS 350, super clean, literally on the ground. I had to pop a quick loop back around too. Can't forget the Mark IV Supras over here. I was too distracted by the slammed Lexus ES 350, but the three of them are back. There's another Mark IV over there. We'll go check that out as well. Some cars revving it. Oh, it's that Hellcat over there with the supercharger. Yeah, you can easily tell with the whine of the supercharger over there. Another Supra over here. Tuned, very tuned engine. And it's got the fat drag tires on the back. Hellcat's revving it over there again with the supercharger. But that Supra's actually pretty tough. I'm not the biggest fan of the Mark IV Supra, but that one actually is pretty clean with the fat tires and the drag spec. We got over here though, something more my style, drag spec Eagle Talon with a Hyundai engine in it. I don't know if that's stock, not too well versed on the Eagle Talon, but completely gutted. Race spec, fat drag tires or racing tires, but it's an Eagle Talon. That's pretty sick. Big fan of that. We got a nice Shelby GT350 as well over here. And the Japanese JDM spec Toyota vans. These are also pretty cool too bit larger than the little key vans that we have from the Rana lot. Surprised I haven't seen any of those little key trucks here yet because there's tons of them here in Sarasota but these ones are pretty nice. We got a Fisker Karma over here. Don't see them too much because they're electric. One of the first electric cars. One of the more like before Tesla completely dominated everything but did not do as well as Tesla. There's that low rider truck again. Showed that one off in the last YouTube short. That one did surprisingly well, so maybe we'll scrape their bumper on the ground again. Because that vid turned out pretty good then because of that. Got a nice Lan Evo 10 over there and a slammed Corolla hatch over here, plus an Alpina SUV. We got two C5 vets over here. One of them lost his eyes, but <laughs> we got Nissans. And then here, over here, something else that I really like the look of. It was another, this one I believe is a, another Mazda. Well, it's obviously a Mazda, but also fully built engine on it. There's the Alpina again. Yeah, Mazda 3. But that engine though, it's really nice. It's got all the stuff, side skirts, wind visors, splitter, and a tuned engine. Pretty solid. Shows there is potential for my Mazda. I start doubting it a lot. Look at the forums and dudes are like, oh, nah, you should just get a faster car. But then I'm like, but what if? Because it is literally just a fatter Mazda 6 or Mazda 3 is basically what my car is. And if you slam it, it's not as fat. There we go. Nice Subaru Impreza with another tuned engine. A lot of tuned cars here today. Last time, you don't really see them as much. There's a Mazda 6 as well, MPS. I believe Mazda Speed, Missouri plates. It's pretty sick if they drove all the way down here to Florida. There's that Audi again, they're always here. Definitely must be local, probably not from Missouri like that other Mazda. There goes the Alpina. That one's actually got quite a lot of presence for an SUV, BMW SUV. Usually they're like regular traffic type of cars, but that one, it's got a bit of presence behind it. Those rims too are pretty nice on it as well. Oh, but I'm still in 0.7. We'll keep it 0.7. We got slammed Acura over here. Pretty solid. And then we got some 
American Muscle, Pontiac, nice more old school Americans, right next to another Ford Mustang 5.0, Miata, and there is that Buick GNX, they always seem to be here as well, similar to that Audi. Oh, there we go, there's one of the key cars running away, little key truck over there. Oh, it's pulling into the meat. There we go. We can check them out later. Let's zoom back out though to 0.7. So yeah, there we go. Fully carbon Supra over here, Mark V. Bit more of a better fan of this Supra compared to the Mark IV. But yeah, it's got carbon hood, carbon skirts, carbon spoiler, carbon diffuser too. They've got carbon fiber everywhere on it. And we got a, another Supra with the white wheels on it and purple wrapped Supra over there and a lot more supers too and there's also this challenger over here with the lambo doors which is pretty tough that wing on it as well and the pink spiked lug nuts there's a mustang over there something's revving it over there i can't tell what <laughs> but I ain't too sure Oh, uh, and the Ford Lightning has popped its hood. Look at that engine in there. I honestly don't remember if I was over here. I feel like I talked about another blue Lamborghini earlier in this video. Not sure if this was the same one, but we also got a Ferrari F430 parked up next to it. Got a blue truck over there and the little key truck trying to pull in, but it blocked it off over there. AMG GT, it's pre pretty solid. That little Toyota MR2 is back as well. Accidentally called a RX-7, I think, last video, but... And then another Claren 720S right there in green. Very nice spec. Black wheels with the green trim as well. Now, this is something very unique. BMW M1 1980s supercar. That's real clean. Have not seen one of those yet. I don't think I've ever seen one. But here it is, at the Sarasota Cars and Coffee. Really tough as well, white, spec, really well kept. That's super clean. Got some BMWs ripping it, looks like people are already praying out of here. We're gonna keep on looking. Let's keep on perusing around AMGs over here, Lamborghini Huracans, Bentley convertible that one's pretty tough with the baby blue type of color on it 911 black dow that's pretty tough camaro ss and some stangs there's just a ram trx out there just ripping it but mclaren is about to leave so i guess we could watch it do a little pull on out of here so we don't really want to miss that but there is just some loud exhaust tuned ram trx just flying through here but here comes the McLaren over there. Go leave eventually. Also got some Astons, Porsche 911 Turbo S, and the Mercedes AMG GT. Here comes a nice Corvette too. check out this side real quick see what's up on the other side of the parking lot and then we'll go over and watch the cars parade on out of here so let's see got some porsche oldsmobiles old fords jaguar f type r convertible that's pretty tough got fox body mustang shelby mustang chevy corvette and we got some firebirds over there let's cut on right through here Got some C8 Corvettes as well, a lot of C8 Corvettes. There's definitely lots of C8 Corvettes here, just in Sarasota in general too. Well, we got a Porsche 911 GT3 RS, I believe, one of the new ones. Big fat wing on that, let's go check that out real quick. We'll speed run this aisle right here. Got some classic Corvettes, Porsche Panamera, Corvettes again, big old Chevy Silverados. At least no Carolina squat here. Ram, or not Ram, geez. Chevy 
2500 but there's that Porsche look at that wing on that got another Camaro right there oh and a Smokey and the Bandit well not exactly it is gold that one's black but the big old wing on that Porsche 911 Dodge Ram Charger too that's pretty sick there you go JDM spec Mazda RX-7 heading out as well Got another Corvette Grand Sport over here. American spec. Got the flags and everything. See, that's that is super tough. Even got the little paper to show that it is. Dang, that's a loud Corvette over there. And here are all the C8s. More on the other side too. That Corvette is revving it right now. Sounds pretty solid though. And there is that Nissan GTR. I saw him yesterday. I believe with that same Lamborghini ripping it around. That is that Camaro, I believe, over there. Hopefully the camera picked it up. Should have. I mean, I could hear it from way the heck over here, so camera definitely probably picked it up. But there's that GTR and that Lambo. Saw them ripping it around yesterday. Absolutely flying down the road. Too bad I was on the other side, couldn't pursue after him like when I chased after that 911 Turbo S. <laughs> he absolutely dropped me. There he is, nice Ferrari, Volkswagen Jetta. Got a Chevy Cobalt, that's pretty clean. And Mazda Miata, Miata Speed, that's pretty cool. Got a McLaren GT right over here. Another Porsche 944 as well over on the other side. We'll go check that one out real quick. And then I think we head on over and start watching the cars parade on out of here. International Scout too. That's pretty clean. It is pretty nicely maintained. That's, it's resto mod, but looks pretty good. Slammed Volkswagen. I got a slammed Acura as well. Got some Porsche pulling out right now. But where did that 944 go? I saw it. Maybe I didn't. What? The heck oh i literally walked past it i was distracted by the acura <laughs> i was looking at the slammed acura and went right past the 944 i wanted to check out yeah there's another one though second one here they are pretty nice cars here we go time to record them all pulling out see some big old exhaust stupid loud <laughs> on that corvette
time.